Corbis, I'm going, Corbis, I'm going to bring you back in in a minute. You're talking about a seed bank that you've got. It is this all local people coming to one culture with seeds for you to sell? How does it work? Mm. <clears throat> no, no. Unfortunately, still the selling you know, part is still completely illegal. We just have uh, uh, affiliates and friends in the seed business, uh, Bolton and Bud. So we've got deals with them for international and local seed banks, uh, just at a very reduced rate at anybody that signs up um, through One Culture and then uses that website. So I think at the moment there's something like 140 odd strain, um, including auto flowers and uh, feminized. Um, and yeah. I'm not going to list it for <laughs> and, and somebody, and Zol, Zol, Dan, Zolbart's on the thread saying this new generation double XL autos will blow your mind. What is a double XL auto? Is that like G Wiz Madam or something? I don't know. We'd have to find out. <laughs> double XL autos. It sounds like something you'd get in, a, in a, an underground shop in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Kubas, um, what are your plans for the future, matey? What's what's going on with One Culture? You, as soon as you can travel, you will travel, and as soon as you can travel, we'll see you around here, I suppose. I see on the thread that Tiernus has put up some pictures. I put them on the drive. If you can hear me in control room there, there's three pictures from Tiernus on the drive. Maybe we can get those up and running. Okay, uh, Jules, I think even as far as the travelling goes, I think this whole thing made everybody realize that there's a lot we can get done, like using technology at the moment. Um, I never thought I would see the day as a boost in um, referral conference calls and things, but I think you know, people are realizing how valuable time is. Um, and it also makes for people sorting out a bit of their own shit, <laughs> which, which uh, simplifies the process. But um, one culture is um, going strong. I mean, we, we are <coughs> Very happy, and I, I think we didn't realize when we started this um, that an opportunity like this, you know, like the like this pandemic or hoax or whatever you want to call it, um, has come. But um, <clears throat> I think this is what we were made to do. Uh, so um, I'm super excited. Um, the community is um, excited, and I think it's our responsibility to bring a bit of hope and lighten the load. And, Absolutely, bring a bit of joy. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it, man. It's a really good way of putting it because at the moment, everybody out there on the street in uniform is hell bent on creating a problem for you. They're not. Nobody's out there to help you in any form. It's what you say. We're on our own now. I feel as if we've been completely let down by everybody now. If you want to survive this one, you're on your fucking own because all they're trying to do is make you slip up now. Because since the last time I spoke to the Hotbox crew like this, my human rights have been reduced by one hour this week because now it's fucking seven o'clock and not eight o'clock at night. So they're going to strip it down this week maybe and make another... You know what I mean? You can feel it. It's like being, getting crushed a bit like this. And I, I don't know whether you heard the thing Gareth Cliff said the other day. It's a little bit like frogs in boiling water. Well, that's... Yeah, the frogs in the boiling water, exactly. That's the analogy. And Mr. President, please take your jackboot off my throat. Because for fuck's sake, what have we done fucking wrong, you know? We're all just trying to mind our business getting on with things, and they're just fucking with it. It's terrible. But I'm glad to hear it's okay. Yeah, we're doing well, have the country as a I mean, yeah. we, we, we're in that situation now. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's our opportunity. It's a thing we've been bitching for all along. And let's not take it. Now, let's stop bitching. We know what the situation is. Let's read all these rules that get given to us. Let's stand up for what's right. And um, let's change it the way we want to change it. Because the government in the end, I mean, we can, we can keep on complaining that well, there will always be some kind of a system. So let's let's stop complaining and let's keep on doing these great things that everybody's talking about. Here. Here's to, here, I don't know whether you can see now. You can see Tiernus's pictures up on the screen. Thanks, Control. This is his stacks. Look at this thing here, Dan. That's pretty neat. That's the small one, and you can basically get up to 240 plants per square meter if you put four of these units down. 
you can see the root in there, it's all aeroponic, it's all a, a organic salt mixture that's in there, so it's a, it's a very nice, uh, friendly way of, uh, of doing it. It also comes on a little roller stand, so you can turn it around on your little porch, or you can hang your lights on the side of it. Away from the neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I did from your mom. Um, yeah, it's pretty nifty. I'm going to try it out in Oatsburg. Every ha every when and that's that's the emergency legislation that I'm talking about. Everybody needs one of these. They need a face mask. They need a bottle of sanitizer. They need a dozen pips and one of these contraptions. That's basically and now you know. Go home and fucking multiply. Yes, <laughs> Uh, gas mojos on the thread, making moonshine, growing weed, and making biltong. That's life in SA now. What the hell are you making biltong from, Brew? Hell, hope that's kosher biltong you do in there. It's fucking rogue. Yeah, that, that sounds like uh, the northwest forever. Yeah, because there's no anti right now. <laughs> and there's Warren saying, learn how to beat the system. And our friend in in uh, in, in uh, Canada, John Vergados, who who's co-owner of Skunk Magazine, he said online the other day that the people who are going to come out of this better than anybody that are the people that have been running the underground all their lives. It is yeah. the underground market that's going to win through in all of this because... Um, it gets stronger. Learn how to beat the system. It gets stronger. Yeah. Learn how to beat the system because the system's coming down on you. Anyway, mm -hmm. Kerbis, it's been absolutely fantastic um, talking to the, the pair of you. Well done for being the one culture, and uh, I know you'll go from strength to strength. You've just got that attitude about you. I can't wait to be able to invite you back and come and... Sm uh, you know what I do need is another case of that impeccable THC... Yeah. Bit, yeah. yeah, I tried it for the first yeah, time. No, I, gave some to the, I gave some to the clipping crew this year, and oh. they got fucking quiet very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good it's so good we've got to keep it for our social events when we open up in springtime guys you can Fuck yeah. be drooling over it and right. see beer in september again well but I, you need to make a bigger bottle like a quart <laughs> bottle because that thing goes down too quickly and it's 520 mils man come on <laughs> and it's got it's got a, quite a clap it claps me i i um it sorts me i don't eat it i normally smoke it eating it makes it go different but it really is a scop it's a hell of a bottle of beer well done guys keep on keeping going Thanks for being affiliates of Fields of Green. We need folk like you all the time. It goes both ways. There's an energy exchange. So I'm glad we could have um, put you on the map again and keep doing your thing. And we'll see you next time on the show. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. Love from Oxford. Cool, man. Klein Karua Quarantine. The KKK.